Now, we're going to do another thing that we haven't done yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to create something called a custom BCS action. Okay, so what's going to happen ultimately is we're going to have a page on our site. We're going to let our users choose a category. That category is going to filter the products that come back from the database so that we're only looking at the products from the chosen or selected category. And then what we want to do is we want to create a little drop down button that lets a user choose a product and purchase it. And we're going to do that by creating what we call a custom BCS action. And we're going to create it on the ABC Extranet products service, our, our content type. So we're going to click on that. We're going to open up the ABC Extranet products. And what we see here is all of the stuff that that external content type defines. Okay, and at the very top here in the ribbon, we see a section for actions. We're going to add a new one. We're going to give our action a name. It's going to be purchase. This is what's going to show up on the drop down menu. Now, when someone clicks on this action, they're going to be redirected. So we need to type in a URL that we want this action to navigate them to. The URL is actually going to contain a query string uh, property. So remember that our products have a key value, a product key. That's the identifier. That's what we want to pass over. So I'm going to create a query string parameter as part of the navigate to URL. So I'm going to say that when someone clicks on the purchase button, they're going to navigate to the product site to a web page called order.aspx and it's going to have an embedded query string value called key and I'm going to put in brackets a zero. Okay, that just says that that zero is a placeholder. Okay, when this is used, it, that zero will be replaced with the actual key value for the product selected. So we need to add a parameter. Okay, so the parameter we're going to add is going to be the product key. Okay, so the product key is what will actually go into that zero placeholder. Now, the next thing I want to do is define an icon. I can go with no icon, but in this case, what I want to do is I want to put a little icon next to the word purchase on my drop down menu. And I've got some icons here that I want to use. Let me just show you what I'm going to use here for the icon. Okay, so within, there we go. This is the icon I want, this is the image I want for my icon on the purchase button. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell SharePoint here where that icon is located. The icon is going to be located inside of an image or an asset library within our SharePoint site. So I need to come in here and I need to tell SharePoint where to find that. So I'm going to put in the URL here. ABC Extranet Products Publishing Images Refresh.png and then I'm just going to save this. So let's see if this all worked. 